So it's time to try and tackle the grease on the cylinder, the um, piston and the little end cap thing. Just realised I've left the shoe in there that I need to fish out, I don't want to lose that. Um, so it's literally two steps forward, one step back on this thing so far. This is where they had um, secured or um, pushed in a captive nut which has now subsequently come out. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do with this. I suppose the sensible thing would be to get a uh, nut and try and uh, weld it back in, but I haven't got a welder and I don't know how to. So what I'm thinking about doing, I'm wondering if a rivet nut would fit in there and it compresses down, even if I get a, like a penny washer and drill it out to the same size to give it a bit more um, girth um, and then just file it flush um, I believe it's an M5 the thread that's in this, um, so I might do that. Um, other thing which I've had to do, the front trigger guard screw or bolt uh, wouldn't go in fully, so what I had to do is uh, tap it, M7 by 1mm tap, um, and it goes in a bit better but doesn't go all the way or as far, as far as I think it should go. But I can't secure it tightly in the rifle stock because I don't have the rear screw to hold it in and obviously that one then pinches up against it. Um, so because I haven't got a four-inch screw and I haven't got the rear trigger guard screw, I can't just put the gun together as it is and go and fire it. So um, I need to sort that out first. So this, I've got a, something else in the pipeline for this for a minute. Um, but what I think I will do is I will actually get a new trigger guard casing, take out the internals, give them a clean, and uh, go from there. So yeah, I'll try that as just another little side project to see if I can do that. So what I need to do first is to try and get the uh, trigger unit out, piston out. Remember I've got the shoe there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is clean them. So what I want to do is I want to degrease them fully and clean them. So when it comes to biodegradable, safe to use, can flush down the sink, no nasty solvents and that, one of the best degreases that you've got is washing up liquid. Um, and this is the cheapest of the cheap. God, no, about 50p I think this was, so I can use absolute oodles of that and not worry too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some just boiled water, some loads of washing up liquid. I'm also going to use this as well. So this is like Barkeeper's Friend, I believe. Um, what you do is that you put a uh, teaspoon or so in a cup, gets rid of lime scale or a pot or something, add some boiling water, and it basically froths up. It's not bicarbonate soda. It has got some other active ingredient, which I can't remember what it is. Oxygen-based bleaching agent. So I'm hoping that obviously that gets into all the nooks and crannies, uh, effervesces, and obviously uh, gets rid of stuff. That cuts down some of the grease, so when it comes out, it should just be a nice case of rinsing it off before then trying to blue, blue the moderator. And I must admit, it came up all right, actually. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try it on this uh, and the end. Let's see if it comes up in a uniform colour. If not, what has been suggested is to um, get um, a solution that I can just literally soak this lot in um, instead of uh, putting it on. So we shall see. So first off, let's try and take out some of the internals. All right, so it's all disassembled. Um, the seal's been removed. Can't take the liner out because it's a snug fit and, well, might as well just leave it in there then. Um, so yeah, these are all gonna go into the bottle. Um, add some of the powder, loads of washing up liquid, hot water, leave to bubble. All right, so now to add some of my epoxy based bleaching agent. Oops, without making too much of a mess. Should be enough. Should not look good. The astute have realised that I need to turn this over midway. Something along those lines. Quickly tidy up, my lads. Is it it's um, the effervescies. Um, it can, I don't want it bubbling over, so let's see how this goes.
and then that hopefully will start loosening all the crud and grease because I haven't got a pressure washer there uh, because I haven't got a ultrasonic cleaner yeah. so I'm going to leave that until it stops doing its thing and check it out later right so after a bit of a Mount Vesuvius bubbling over giving it a quick scrub with a 240 I think it is um, Brillo pad just to clean off any last remaining bits and pieces so then what I'll do I'll use some degreaser blue and rust just to get into the little nooks and crannies and then obviously try and finish off with the perma blue I'll do one bit at a time because obviously this is quite large and then yeah go from there right so next up is the blue and rust remover so see if that gets off any last bits that I missed off with the um, Dremel attachments, the little nooks and crannies. And then I'll give it a, a little wipe down with some wire wool before uh, putting the perma blue on. So let's just give this a bit of a going over. So following the blue and rust remover, it's been degreased again. And now it's time for perma blue. Let's say what we'll do. If the um trying to do a large area like a barrel is um too much for this, uh, what I will do is get some solution that I can literally soak this in. Um but yeah, we'll try with the perma blue first. See how it goes. So let's try and wipe this on evenly. So I'm going to need a second hand. I'll bring you back in a minute. So far, so good. I've just rinsed it off and what I'll do is I'll give it a second coat Let's see if I've missed any little bits but so far I mean too bad so yeah just going to do a second coat rinse it off and then what I'll do I'll cover it in some oil just to seal it and protect it um, before it gets put back together again but yeah so two coats done, just been rinsed. So what I'm going to do now is just add some a very thin layer of um, oil just to protect it and stop it from flash rusting. And then that can go and sit in the corner somewhere waiting for it to be reassembled. before and after what the difference quite a nice and deep shine actually so uh, you are next there you go all done just need to add a little bit of oil I noticed I've missed a bit in the um, hole there but other than that I'm quite impressed with the coverage of that so it's all got a light covering of 3 in 1 oil that can uh, say so sit there waiting to be reassembled in the not too distant future. Where are they? So next up will be the uh, barrel. <laughs> 